everybody. I'm Ella with KCR College Radio at SDSU. Today I'm here with Verum. We're going to be introducing and talking to these guys a little bit about their band. So yeah, welcome. Do you guys want to each introduce yourselves? Hi everyone. My name is Carson. My name is Darren. And I'm Mitch. Awesome. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet, nice to meet you, you too. Um, so where are you guys from? Uh, we're from Orange County. Um, you can see us in Orange County. Uh, you can sense us in the dark parts of your brain. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Love it. Um, how did you guys like start this band or come to fruition? Like, how did you guys get together and meet each other and decide to start Verum? Well, personally, uh, we just joined uh, like April twenty third, so uh, oh, cool. we're pretty new to the group. You know, uh, nice. It's it's been a good time though. You know, everybody is super welcoming and really friendly. Mm -hmm. And it's been fantastic. It's a great set of musicians in one room. So I'm real happy about that. You so know? how many other members do you guys have besides you three? There's one more of us. Okay, cool. Name's Eric, Eric, our drummer. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Eric rips, man. <laughs> rips drums. Also. Um, uh, yeah, I listened to some of your guys' stuff. It's really good. Thank you. Of oh, course. Um, how did you guys decide on the name Verum? You want to go man. with that one? Well, like... So Verum is is very much like just an idea for us. Like it's it's um, it means true in Latin. Oh. And so when we're in a headspace and we're just creating, we like to just be true to what we want to make and what we want to create. And so we felt like that name just fit us perfectly, and we just slotted it in like that. I like yeah. it. That's true, great. True to ourselves too, and that's like a big that's a big part of uh, our creative um, process mm -hmm. as well. Right. Yeah. Sense of self, self expression. You know, individualism, very big ideas in Virum is what I'm, you know, sensing from since I'm like the newest member. I feel like we have like a very fresh perspective. Right. Love it. Yeah. Do you guys value each other individually, like on ideas? Or do you guys mostly like collaborate when you are coming up with new music and stuff? Or is it normally like one person in charge of a single project? Uh. You know, we bring the ideas in. Uh, I think we bring in the, the bare bones and stuff and, and, a, and a vibe that, that we're getting for the vision of the song. And then, you know, collectively, it, it just transforms into this, this, this thing that's bigger than any one of us individually. And that's, that's our favorite way to write stuff because um, it's, it's just nice to be able to write something that's, that's bigger than any, any single one of us, you know, and that can hopefully touch a lot of people. Totally. That's awesome. Um... What genre would you guys classify your music as? Bull in a china shop. I don't know. Like we, <laughs> I don't know. It's very, I don't you know. You guys have a lot of like diverse stuff, I yeah. feel like. Like and a lot of different stuff. Especially, yeah, with the new music coming out. It's very, I don't know, we don't really sit in one certain spot. I feel like we're kind of thrashing around a lot of different like ideas and stuff. So I'm trying a lot of stuff out, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, trying That's a lot great. of new things. Yeah, experimenting, uh, especially with this new stuff that was handed to us, like the uh, just odd odd time signatures and stuff. And like we we've created, you know, kind of our own way of writing music. We call it the peanut theory. Mm. Um, do you know what an SCP is? No, I don't. There's this online forum from like the early 2000s where people would write. They're basically like creepypastas about like uh, like creepy, like I don't even know how to explain it, like entities. OK. Mm. And um, there's this one... Like anomalies, right? Anomalies, oh, exactly. Okay. They're yeah, anomalies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's this one that goes by the name Peanut. Um, and basically his whole thing is you have to look at him. And if you don't look at him, he comes up behind you and he snaps your neck. And <laughs> so we wrote a song about it. But um, Carson here, uh, he came up with this part for it that didn't have any meter, really, or any time signature. It was just counting. Like, it, it was really like a collective consciousness of like us practicing it so many times that we knew the timing exactly. Yeah. Even if it didn't fit into a perfect measure. That's coming out. Uh, I mean, what this, this That's Thursday, this yeah. Friday. Oh, awesome. And all, all the, all the new stuff with the, with that peanut theory stuff in there that just, it's like, it's free form and it's, we, we found this whole new way to express ourselves and yeah. Is the song called peanut theory that's coming out? I will, No, it's not. It's called SCP. Oh, okay. Stuck gotcha. Cool. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Um, what are each of your roles in the band? Like, 
instrument wise and also like how mm. what you bring to the table well uh, we play piano guitar and sing so mm -hmm. mostly helping with like a lot of the backup vocals and also we've written, written a couple uh couple riffs for the new stuff on the new album so that's a lot of fun it's nice. real cool i'm real proud of uh everything that we've come up with sweet yeah um what are you carson our role is the bass player i play the low notes to please it love it yeah, yeah and we write it so we write you know lyrics and stuff um and we're we're the ones that bring in the bare bones and all that stuff for the for the group to really create something uh, from that, and so they can add their own individual parts of it. Awesome. Um, how long have you guys each been making music? It, it feels, feels like, like we, we just, just started, started this, this morning. morning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, you know the band. Uh, uh, Man, it evolves uh, like the way the way that we're writing music just changes every single day. And so it's like every every day that we practice together and we write together, it's like a, it's just a brand new experience. And it's 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 something like we learn every day. It's like we're, we're being thrown into this 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 big ocean that we've never swam in before. It's exciting stuff. Yeah. How often do you guys like get together to like make music or record or practice? Like what's your routine? I'd say at least once a week, at mm -hmm. least bare bones. We at least gotta have a practice once a week. If totally. not, yeah, we gotta probably at least two or three. I'd say pretty averagely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and these last few weeks, as we're preparing to go on tour, it's been three times a week. It's exhausting, but a, a ton of fun. And yeah, it's very fulfilling. Like, just yeah, musically, I just love walking into the room and when we hit those those difficult those peanut sections. Mm -hmm. You know, as a musician, it's it's wonderful. That's awesome. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about your tour coming up? Yeah, so um, this is our first like full length tour. Um, we're starting at uh, the Constellation Room in Orange County, and then we have a show here in San Diego. Uh, is this going to be out by the first? Yeah, Friday. Okay. Come to the show. Friday. Where are you Come guys to the show at? Uh, on Friday. It's at um, it's at Ocean. It's in it's in Ocean Beach. Ocean it's Beach. at Humble Heart. Humble Heart. Humble yeah, Humble love Heart. that. Love that venue. Sweet venue. Mm -hmm. Playing there with our buddies uh, and Alternative Citizens as well. They're they're going on this this tour with us. Sweet. And then we're going up to Oceanside on Saturday, playing with Echinacea. Been dying to play with them. And then we're off to Salt Lake City. Um, we played the Doom Lounge. And then down to Trunk Space in Arizona, and then up to the Winchester Goose in Chico, and then we have a house show on the 13th in Sacramento, and then we have a show at Stay Gold in Oakland on the 14th, Bakersfield on the 16th. Damn. I know. <laughs> and then uh, Slow on the 20th, uh, Santa Barbara on the 22nd, and then Pomona on the 23rd. Awesome! You guys are all over. Going at it. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and everything for sure. Where can everybody find those details, like on your Instagram? On our Instagram, yeah. Give us a follow at Virum Band. Uh, sign up for our mailing list so you can see whenever we get new shows. Uh, you know, we we send out an email to to everyone that's that's on it. Just especially when it's in your area, we'll get it to you so you don't miss it. Awesome, yeah. I'm sure anyone watching this that lives in the college area has been to Humble Heart. It's like one of the best venues, I think. Like that's great. It's definitely yeah. in OB too because it's just like. It's just fun, and like afterwards, there's a lot to do around there, and yeah, so great venue. We've um, we've never we've never hit Humble Heart before. I think we've played at like just about every other San Diego venue. Really, we've hit. I mean, we've hit Shea Cafe and Queen Bees and Soma, totally. and that. Um, oh, we had that. We the had one house. Is that what that was? I I don't remember what it was called. It was like on some island. Fiesta Island. Oh, Fiesta, Fiesta Island. island. Yeah. Was it just like in the dirt, like on yeah, a stage? I've yeah. I've been to one of those. There were others. There were house shows we played with. Uh, now they're called benches, I believe, but at the time they were called ignit benches. Mm -hmm. um, man, yeah. There's there's a lot of great venues, and I've never I've never had a San Diego venue that I didn't love. So I'm excited to hear that. Humble heart. Yeah, it's fun. It's gonna pop off. Um, do you guys like performing in San Diego? Like, like a little it's bit south best. of where you're from? It's the best. Fantastic. Yeah. 
That's our favorite. Don't yeah. want to dog the OC scene because we love it. We're from it. We built our whole band and everything there, but the people in San Diego just like to mosh more. I feel yeah, like. they really for do sure. just mosh a little yeah. bit more. There's there's a lot there's a lot of energy given back um, at San Diego, so it's easier to have a fulfilling show um, here because uh, what, you just you, we don't have to work as hard for it. I mean, they're they're there and they're they have the energy with them. Totally, yeah. Um, where do you guys get most of your, like, your inspirations musically? I'm personally Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I really grew up on that, you know, uh, nice. Jimmy Page, fantastic guitarist, inspiration, you know. Sweet. For me personally. How about y'all? I mean, man, inspiration. It doesn't have to be like an artist. It can just be like what drives you to create music. Yeah, I think it's the feelings I have right before I go to bed, just sitting there in the dark, and I'm <laughs> like, these these thoughts are going through, you know, our head, and they come out a lot, especially in the new stuff, and it, yeah, that was probably my biggest inspiration, because those are some of my darkest times. Yeah. Mm. Definitely, gotcha. biggest inspiration, at least for me on this new album, is anger and anxiety, for sure, 100%. I think it... I mean, you asked us a genre earlier. I kind of like the term anxiety rock for us. Just cause, like, <laughs> it is a really anxious sound, and it's it's yeah. really cool, upbeat type, shaking your skin type stuff. So, Well, you've got a know. great outlet, and it yeah. comes out really well, yeah. so it's Thank awesome. Thank you so much. Of course. Um, have you guys had any, like, major challenges as a band, and, like, how have you overcome them, if you have? It's okay to say you haven't, but... Eric. <laughs> Eric? <laughs> Eric? <laughs> Like every practice, Eric. Eric. <laughs> no, Eric's made it the easiest, especially for our live shows. The dude is uh, such a gifted musician. I'm right. bummed he can't be here to talk with us today. Cause he's a problem because he makes us all look bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he's yeah. And he's uh, produ he produces. You know. Yeah, yeah. he oh, wow. produces. Yeah. I mean, he produced our whole our, the whole thing. That's awesome. Yeah, he's he's an he's just an, he's an incredible uh, musician, you know, both with both with playing music and and producing it. I mean, the dude lives and breathes it. It's yeah, it's incredible. But other than that, a uh, problem wise, I think it's just um, keeping the energy going. You know, keeping the energy going is is hard. You know, setbacks. You know, if one person feels the effects of a setback, you know, it set it sets back the whole band because. We're a collective conscious, you know, mm -hmm. we, we, we riff off of one another and when one of us is not riffing, nobody's riffing. So those, that's, I think, the problems that we come in, come in contact with the most. That makes sense. Um, so what's next for you guys? And tell us a little bit, I know you guys gave us the tour lowdown, but um, tell us like what's coming up for music releases and just what's next for Rarum? Anyone want to go? You want me to take this one? I was going to just say, well, tour, but in writing, you know, writing more music, finding more sources of inspiration, going to deeper, darker places, or maybe coming out of them. It's all stuff to write about, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. After tour, we have, uh, you know, a couple shows lined up. Um, one of them, uh, do you know Rain on Fridays? Oh, yeah, they're like two of my best friends. One, of their, one of their members is that works at a production studio, I think. Maddie, yeah. Yeah, she's, she's holding a show, so she had us on that. Um, that's going to be September 29th. And then October 29th, we're doing a Halloween show. I can't remember off the top of my head where that one is. Okay. I want to say it's at the Haven, but I'm not totally sure. Um, we do have music coming out after the EP mm -hmm. that is just about ready to go, and it's a whole nother U-turn. Right and afterwards. the EP is coming out. EP is coming out the first September first. That's the day of the San Diego show. We'll be down here, and that'll be uh, the first time we play it here. Amazing! Yeah. So exciting. I think that Halloween shows at the Fox, right? The Fox Theater. Fox Theater, I think. Pomona. Pomona. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's for the Halloween show. I hope so. It's a great venue. I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm psyched. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Do you guys have anything else you want to add um, before we sign off? I want to tell everyone to live your truth. Uh, commit and be different. Yeah, be yourself unapologetically, 100%. Yeah, absolutely. Especially for those of you watching that might be musicians. You know, Making it as a musician is extremely difficult and not something that we've, we've been able to overcome yet. And I'd say 
we're just getting on track for that. And if I have any advice from from playing music for as as long as as long as we have, it's definitely commit a hundred percent and be unique. Um, if you're not given a hundred percent, someone else is. And if you're not being unique, someone else is going to do it better than you. So give it all you got. Uh, if 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 you if this is your dream, you got to go all in. Um, I do just want to drive home the points on um, our release on the first. Check it out. If you're watching this afterwards, it's out. It's great <laughs> stuff. Never been more proud of a release in my life. Um, and definitely come to the show on the first over a humble heart. And stay tuned for some more stuff. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. This is Baram. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And this repetition of forgetting to cut my nails before everyone I love could enjoy a sweet strike to their hearts. 